uh, muscles for Jesus? Something like that. Yeah, like they're they're bodybuilders and they hold and muscle mass. They <laughs> <laughs> probably probably and the like the body of christ is probably just a protein bar or yeah, something yeah. like the, that the body of christ <laughs> yeah yeah the body of christ get shredded for god this is ffpu your primary source for austrian film and tv critique where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter Welcome to the latest episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is episode 84, recorded on the 28th of August 2018. And uh, we have him here after doing a lot of uh, stand-up, uh, starting to do a lot of stand-up in Vienna and trying to be the first full-time stand-up comedian next to me that is from <laughs> Austrian descent. Uh, he is in the room. It is Roland Apple. Hey man. Hey Roland. How are you doing? Hey, man? how are you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, doing yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. This we had we had a lot of fun watching Staying watching close to the microphone and uh, <laughs> talking about. This is your first recording. This is your first podcast, right? This is my yes, your first podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but you so you're long time listener, wait, first time <laughs> caller. <laughs> Right, yeah, you you're also a fan of the podcast. That's true. Yeah, this is this is my first, uh, I would say, charity work that I can write off in my tax returns. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. helping the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, Roland is a little bit older than the. the, the oh, there's cameras. The, I forgot the, <laughs> the average <laughs> than the average co-host. Most of the co-hosts are younger than me, but you you are one of the more wise oh, I, and older ones. And I, I I'm, I'm happy. Older looking, yeah. And <laughs> older looking. <laughs> You're actually my age. <laughs> <laughs> It's the reverse. I'm the, you know, I'm the old guy invading the old undercover cop invading yeah, the yeah, high yeah. school hey, <laughs> comedy, hey, comedy team. Hey youngsters, <laughs> hey youngsters, how are you doing, dude? I already had that fear in my heart, in my head, like. Oh, there's so many like foreigners and shady, shady under air quotes, shady yeah. people. Like there, there has to be at least one undercover cop, and it's not me. <laughs> so it can only be Enter the other, <laughs> the other Austrian white dude that is not disabled. Yeah, Nicolette, I'm watching him also. He's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's probably him. Nicolette is definitely the the most number one. <laughs> He hasn't been the on the podcast not disabled. yet. Um, and we watched. End of days. End of days. I had to think about uh, the, the title, title for a second, but end of it's days. On, it's only uh, mentioned in the movie like 50 times. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a recurring theme. <laughs> a little bit of a recurring theme. Yes, it's 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 just uh, the slightest hints of uh, Christianity are portrayed in this one. Yeah. It is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie made in 1999. Or uh, released in 1999, it's probably shot and done in 1997, and then all the special effects happen. But yeah, it's a film noir mystery. It's an the end of days, fin de siècle. Yeah, fi 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 <laughs> fin de <laughs> literally. Si fin de siècle, siècle. Yeah. So it's about uh, the coming of the Antichrist or some portion of that story around. They never called him Y2K. Satan, right? They never called him Satan. No, and they never. But, uh, they called him Prince of Darkness once. Like, is he is he ashamed of that name? Like, it's, it's the name Satan, they gave him. Satan, it's the name Satan, they gave him. Satan was my dad's name. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me Robert. <laughs> <laughs> call me Lucy. Yeah, call me Lucy or Belzy. Right. No, so Bob, so what happens Bob. is that yeah, the <laughs> Satan is on Earth trying to uh, bring hell onto Earth by having a child with a chosen woman, mm -hmm. which we never find out why she was chosen though. Well. I think they tell her at one point that the stars were right, but oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't hold up to scientific scrutiny. No, no, not really. No, no empirical study done no. on it. No, no, no peer-reviewed stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. Um, and then a main part of the movie it's a is lot a based on faith. Yeah, <laughs> this whole yeah. movie is you have a lot to buy into it in yeah. the beginning. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You also have to buy into the cheese yeah. <laughs> immediately <laughs> because oh, we get like minute one we get uh, better call Paul uh, better call Paul the, the 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 guy who played the the old Salamanca dude from Breaking Bad and better call Saul plays the Pope. 1979. Wait, was that already Paul I the second? There was the year of the three popes. 
but I think that was previously, no? When the Pope died, they elected a new Pope, and the new Pope died within like six weeks. Oh, shit. And I think that was like late 70s. Oh, they, they, like, they, they went so through. So they had like they within went, two months, they had three Popes. Oh, they went through some Popes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had to, did, wait, I, I hate to interject, but did, did, did you yet mention that this was an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that sort of... <laughs> That's the like, only connection to Austria. Because if I'm here. telling you, if, the, if like you ask me about that movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger being part of it is like number three or four on the list of things i would mention about this movie before <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not an arnold the, schwarzenegger no, movie no, he's not the most interesting part he's the hero of the movie yeah. but he's not the most interesting yeah. part but it's it's it's, it's a, not a part you would expect arnold schwarzenegger to play in also it's not the, it's a dramatic more of a dramatic than his usual he plays basically a, Fair, john a john mclean slash what's his name punisher kind of type a religious john mclean yeah no, religious John religious. McClane that lost his faith because his daughter and his wife got killed. Oh, by the way. Plot. Um, no, John McClane's kid and his kids never got into trouble. Does he except have for kids? The, he has from, kids, no? from Russia with Love where he yeah, ends I stopped up with watching, his son. I stopped watching Die Hard after number four, I think. Yeah, the fourth one is actually in retrospect actually not bad <laughs> compared to like five. No, five <laughs> is hot dog yeah. shit. Like I mean, it's it's really bad. Yeah, I, I but uh, coming back to this one. Yeah, I was I was yeah. about to keep talking about Die Hard, but <laughs> we have to watch out. Yeah, not yeah. every film you can review is Die Hard. Have you done Die Hard? Oh uh, no, is I haven't there done Die Hard yet. No. Uh, oh, for sure there has because to be have, Hans Gruber. Yeah, there has to be an Austrian. No, connection. no, he's a see, he's a German. He's like East German. Ah. that was the whole thing in in Die Hard with a Vengeance. Don't don't challenge my <laughs> diehard I'm knowledge. Not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a not. diehard fan. That like ah! that shit was made in the <laughs> late '80s or when? Diehard fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, late '80s, '86, I think. Yeah. No, because that's a movie. Like that also. This movie yes, made in yes, '99. There are better movies it, than this one. It, yeah, that's true. It aged well. End of days. Or? No, the end, end of days, I guess. Yeah, it the also satanic yeah. rituals are as up to date as ever. Oh, and the boobs, dude. The boobs are on fleek, like. <laughs> So I don't know what that means, but there were I'm some gonna in the movie. I'm going to dab on those boobs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, the tits were amazing in this one. Also, maybe I'd mention that a couple of spaces below where Alan Schwarzenegger is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, it's, it's, it's demon rituals, boobs, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Oh, no, no. And in between boobs and Arnold Schwarzenegger... Kevin Pollack <laughs> as the least funny, least interesting person in the universe. Yeah. Because he's not a bad actor. He's a great comedian, but he plays the sidekick of Arnold Schwarzenegger and he gets off like in the middle of the movie and comes back in demon form. Like he, he, he has no bearings on the plot. Yeah, pretty much. It's like... They, I bet he was happy to take the movie at the time, though. Oh, that was a great paycheck. And you, hey, come on. In 1999, working next to Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's like one of the best things you can do for your career at that point. Yeah, but it's it's not going to be like the sort of uh, body cop no, dynamic it's not gonna that be, you have it's, in like it's an not action gonna movie. Red heat. It's, it's not going to be Red exactly, Heat. And like it's that. not going to be... Uh, twins. Uh, it's not... <laughs> uh, twins. It's not going to be twins, no. No, we are not. It's one a of sort a of a darker theme. Yeah. It it starts off. It reminds me it's a little edgy bit twins, of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at the beginning, I was like, "Oh, it's trying to be seven because wasn't seven just a couple of years earlier?" Yeah, like seven, the ninth gate, and yeah, there there are a bunch of mo demon movies that came around. The, uh, uh, yeah, the Devil's Advocate. They all came around this time, basically, all in like a span of five years. They all came out, and they all had this weird process pro contra satanic thing because let's be honest in the whole thing the devil makes the best arguments <laughs> yeah yeah and you might not remember it but the 90s was a satanic decade yeah it was crazy oh Everywhere. yeah yeah with all those punk rock bands coming yeah, out you saw it in the movie also yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not really i heard it a little bit oh yeah it's not the skater dude that, that the skater, skater dude, dude in, that dies <laughs> in a in a hat that just says 90s and the worst <laughs> jeans oh jinko jeans yeah the 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 widest jeans yeah. widest cut jeans you can like you could you could fit several men into this that those are basically tents look look for sure i mean they're, sure. they're all they're also i never back. associated them with people on skateboards 
I thought it was always like uh, skater jeans are actually tighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like these were like these. Uh, and I'm gonna say the wrong thing. Like ethnic jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was gonna I was gonna associate I'm gonna go them with a certain kind of music. Not, not racist. <laughs> <laughs> those those true jeans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeans. No, I'm not going there at all. So the movie starts in the Vatican, and immediately yes. it starts with a date. It says uh, something or other. 1979. 1979. I wrote it down. 20 yeah. years because 1999. She's 20. Yeah. And uh, there's some. She's cardinal. not allowed to drink alcohol <laughs> in the state of New York. <laughs> she's but not did 21 in the movie? yet. Did they in the movie? No, no. But I'm saying like she's into like the. She but can she fuck a on, demon. Yeah. She can fuck a demon, but she can't drink alcohol. But also, she could have bought a couple of guns. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like she could have done all of those things, but not, uh, not have. Uh, you can have sex with uh, a demon. You can. That those are all legal, but you can't drink. And uh, the cardinals, or like a group of cardinals, are looking at stars and reading books and flipping out. And they come to the pope, and so it's legit they knew like they knew this was happening and yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. now the person is being born and the pope sends the one guy yeah why only one guy i don't know and why so late like that's what i was asking because you switch it goes uh bam new york six hours later and i'm like how they get there with like uh, the concord yeah but yeah, which yeah, then i thought that, it, at that actually time at that time it actually worked. existed and that was a four-hour flight i think and, from and london to to, oh, to new york exist then But then the baby is born <laughs> yeah. and the fucking Satanists are already there. Yeah, yeah. They they are way better organized. They have way better contacts. They 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 they, they are just the, the more efficient troop of the two of them. The church is lagging behind in everything. Like they don't have the proper funding, they don't have the proper security measures. They 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 are lazy assholes, which totally explains why there is a, a splinter group that is like hey how about we just kill the girl yeah, yeah make it more effective like, yeah, uh, like it's like a startup within the company yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You have disruptive technology disruptive technology, uh, disruptive yeah. technology is called a dagger <laughs> no but i mean it's true because what's faster than light darkness it's already there yeah <laughs> so of course the satanists are already there and like that i was like that movie is serious they bring the kid to the morgue and you're like what's up yeah, yeah. and then there's a full-on satanic ritual they take the snake and kill it and make the baby drink the snake blood that was pretty dope that was like pretty i was dope. like what is this uh Ooh. that baby went all in it was like it leonardo dicaprio me. in the beach huh what That baby went all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had all the chips you on, on this Satan. once. Give me the snake blood. Yeah, exactly. And then return uh, to the mom, and then we flash forward to cu current day on the airports, current day New York. Oh, current day New York. And, and, and the mom is dead, and the dad is dead. Do we know that yet? I think, don't yeah, we find Arnold Schwarzenegger first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But come on. It, like, the plot is so thin. We already explained the whole plot. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's it. And then 20 years later, the devil comes and tries to find her to produce the Antichrist with her. No? Yes. That's how I understand yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, the, the f film is like choke full with y2k scaremongering well, like it, it says like we will it's the end i think not only is it the end of days it, like in the storyline it's also like the the, the all this oh the virus the y2k bark is gonna kill us all yeah i think they're 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 doing that in the beginning mostly to also set the frame and remind everyone look it's two days before new year's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. remember that god damn it i hate writing this in the script five times but you people are idiots <laughs> it's fucking two days before new year's yeah it's like you're still like in your christmas it's like, drunk. Had, it's like he had it twice in there and the studio was like uh can you drop like three more references to drop, new year's? drop five more references yeah, these are arnold schwarzenegger fans <laughs> yeah, exactly they're a little bit thick-headed <laughs> no well th i mean then the first thing is you've we find arnold in the movie we find arnold and it's in this no 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 no. we have first we have the shaky cam and the gutter fire the the gutters just uh, in new yeah. york just com spontaneously yeah, there's something combust. up in new york it's yeah like, exactly who are you gonna call yeah but it's not ghostbusters S Schwarzenegger <laughs> busters yeah exactly yeah and he it's a lot of shaky cam and gutter fire and then we cut to ah the most italian i don't know banker i guess hey i'm making you a good Tom over here yeah, and he, he he goes into the toilet and then boom gets possessed by 
Satan, I guess. Satan, I guess. Personally, yeah. Satan. Yeah. Santa. Santa, poss- Santa. Santa possesses him and he's like, oh, the spirit of Christmas <laughs> will <laughs> live in you. No, but what actually happens is, like, <laughs> it, first of all, the possession scenes are one of the goofiest moments of the movie because it's all acting and then a little bit of CGI. With Arnold Schwarzenegger, it actually looked cool at the end, but with him, it just looked like, all right, all right, whatever your name is, actor, what I want you to do is make some interpretive dance that portrays pain, but also like you have to go to the toilet. Like, it's <laughs> because like, you are in the toilet. Yeah, so exactly. This makes like it authentic. you have to take a shit, like an immense shit. Like, the, like you have to push some feelings out of there, you know? Like, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and then he just flips around and everything. Oh, yeah, and then he gra- mo- me too's just yeah. a, a, a lady in the, <laughs> in he the just establishment. Comes, he just comes out from the bathroom and just walks by the table and grabs, I think, was it the lady he was having dinner with before? He just grabs her I don't boob, think so. I don't her. think so. The other dude looked like just, his, uh, his, 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 his hus- her husband. Yeah, and, he, and, uh, and then just does it and le- leaves. Yeah. And the place blows up. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, just, well, that was a bit much, like referencing <laughs> her, him grabbing her poop and then the place blows <laughs> up. I'm like, yeah. oh, killing 30 more people in cold blood. Oh, it's yeah, that yeah. kind of guy. No, yeah, then we know that he's like a legit demon, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Like that we had to, uh, the, because the whole sexual aspect was like a big thing of the devil's advocate the keanu reeves movie <laughs> and i would argue it's probably a big uh, part of the whole good evil dynamic sort yeah, of of course of course because you have to be prude everywhere. and but pure and whatever bullshit like that but we'll in leave this that case, to smarter in this case, podcasts in, in this case <laughs> in this case it's just like oh yeah that was like exactly like the devil's advocate so after that, he's going to blow up the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a totally different kind of demon. Yeah, he's not just scheming. He's also just an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he, he does so much property damage just because. Oh, and not just property damage. Brain skull. Like, he punches oh, through his don't, 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 you're, you're stealing all the best moments. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But yeah, you can explain that if you want to. Like, because but, we went back and watched that moment like four or five times. Yeah, but we're still a couple of uh, points away. Out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a couple of scenes are away. we jumping around here? It doesn't really matter. No, but because no, this matters because <laughs> <laughs> it matters because sure, it's the first time you meet Arnold Schwarzenegger in this movie. It's a, a derelict department, and it's just mm-hmm. alcohol bottles, no cigarettes, great energy shake. Yeah, a great clock. energy. He, he wakes up. There's guns laying around. No, he's awake. He's contemplating suicide. I think also. Yeah, true. and then just by chance. The door rings and it's his body and Arnold makes a breakfast and it's just coffee in the blender, <laughs> and puts a slice of pizza in the blender. Yeah, yeah, all the best ingredients. Something yeah. else in. Yeah. Uh, and that seemed I'm like, like wow. a very healthy John, J- Jamie Oliver kind of recipe yeah, yeah, yeah. that he tried and there. Yeah, it is protein shake, you know. Yeah. I uh, felt bad get for buff. Arnold. Oh, he he had actually had a one liner about it, like yeah, you uh, gotta breakfast work. is but the most important meal. That of was the for day. sure in reference to his uh, <laughs> private life, I guess. <laughs> That's one of the best parts of Pumping Iron. There's a scene where uh, there's like twenty bodybuilders around the table and they're yeah. all ordering food, and the uh-huh. first guy does like an order, and the second guy's like, "I'll have that." And this on top, and then <laughs> yeah, the next one, one is like others, and on the, <laughs> yeah. they all have to one up each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, I can put more mass <laughs> on than you. Ah. Yeah, no, Arnold. Yeah, that's that seemed like something Arnold would actually eat, like in a pinch. Is like because when you when you're that bulky and you don't ingest enough calories, your body starts to eat itself. Like you you actually feel like the hunger way more than a normal person would. So. That kind of emergency shake seems like something a bodybuilder would in yeah, do for, in a pinch. Like, for sure, Arnold Schwarzenegger looked like his body was eating himself through large parts of this movie. <laughs> like he looked, <laughs> he looked old. He looked weak. Like he, gets, comparatively. he gets beaten up by people where you're like, what <laughs> yeah. is wrong he with you? The, he gets his How? ass kicked. Most of the movie, he gets his ass kicked. That's true. The, only in the last like 10% of the movie, he really ups the ante. Yeah, but like before, and before the, that, he also he, gets his ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he, well, he no, he like. kicks his own ass at the well, end. At the end, he kicks his own ass. Well, he, yeah. the he does in the beginning end with some ass kicking because his body is there to pick him up. They're out for a job and they're uh, uh, private security detail. Yeah, from Striker Industries. Striker Industries. 
and they somehow have to protect the guy from Wall Street who they're protecting him and Arnold gets out of the car and checks the helicopter because they have a helicopter yeah in the middle of New I York I mean that's yeah, some pretty fancy security that was some nine, yep. pre 9-11 shit you can and have a helicopter in downtown New yeah. York and then there's a window open so Arnold knows check the fire escape yeah. and then there's a fucking guy on the fire escape like a homeless dude shooting yeah and I'm and he hits Arnold twice. Yeah. Our man goes down. Yeah. Arnold Arnold pushes the other guy out of the way and caught, catches two bullets. And goes so, down, goes, for the first time in the movie, goes down like a pussy. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a great, in my opinion, great chase scene where they chase down the homeless dude uh, with, the, with the help of the helicopter. Well, it's from top to bottom, really. The Arnold goes on top of the helicopter and they fly out and he like drops from the rope. Yeah, get to the chopper. Right, yeah, why he didn't he say, say that? Yeah. He could have said it. No, yeah. no callback there. Yeah. It's, it's pre-ironic, Arnold. It's before he realized that his whole persona is a joke to the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he still co was like, I'm serious about this movie. And the director's like, yeah, Arnold, sure, sure. You're serious about this movie. <laughs> now say this line, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to shred this voice. Uh, also, he doesn't try to hide his accent at oh, all. Not at all. It's full-blown Arnold. It's full-blown Arnold. This here. is this is the most... And I mean, you don't know his backstory. He has some... Uh, uh, sort of operative uh, history he knows his way around and he saves that guy and then he follows them but he speaks with the worst accent <laughs> it's uh, and I no saw wonder, afterwards no wonder nobody follows his commands because they can't I, understand him get him get him yeah, what, what did he say I wrote, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I wrote this down <laughs> Uh, in the in the, when they're rolling the credits, they have his his his, his dialect coach, <laughs> and his name is Walter right, von Hüden. 1999. You've been in the United States for what 30 plus years. So now also, it's, it's such a cliche German sounding name. I'm like, no, you didn't get the point of dialect coach. You <laughs> yeah. need to get the dialect coach who speaks the language you want to learn. <laughs> Come get, on. get a dialect. <laughs> John Smith. Yeah, Michael oh, Miller. No, yeah, and then, Ciao, Bing Bung, your new uh, dialect coach. <laughs> in Polish. Yeah, yeah, in Polish. Yeah. <laughs> Kurva. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and but he, they fly up to the house. He drops out of the helicopter mm -hmm. and gets the priest. Yeah. But then they both fall down, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he drops him onto a newsstand, which breaks his fall, the priest's fall. Fake news. And then he follows him down to the subway where he shoots the the priest in in the legs ah yeah he kneecaps him yeah good cop yeah he's a yeah that's 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 how you see that it, like that's the minimum amount of bruce police brutality without getting fired as a cop is just kneecapping an asshole <laughs> to yeah. his defense though, the the priest was, was white. white yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> it's a white priest you can't in in new york you can't shoot a white priest that's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's then where the things first get interesting because then the the real police come mm -hmm. and she's like, well, you said he was talking to you, and so what? I can't do Arnold's voice. <laughs> come <laughs> on, come on, and and he clearly talk to me. I, I'm a dialect coach. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Arnold, and she on. says because he has no tongue. Yeah, <laughs> and that flips everyone out. Yeah, yeah so it's pretty good. Everyone's in disbelief. Obviously in disbelief because uh, again he got his fucking tongue cut out, <laughs> and 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 well not cut out he cut it the priest out had himself. It already cut out yeah yeah he himself cut it out cut it out cut it out come on guys don't how do you do cunnilingus without <laughs> without a tongue that's it's just lips nobody loves that no more tongue in cheek yeah. comments <laughs> for him. But it's pretty uh, gnarly because they he he fleeces the the priest and he grabs a uh, some sort of a card from his an pocket empty wallet. and yeah a fucking empty wallet. I'm like, why do you even have a wallet if it's, it's empty, empty? Just yeah. get rid of the wallet. It's you people know, will think it's strange. The god is working in mysterious ways. Uh, you know? I guess yeah yeah he, he might fill up that wallet one day. Just just you wait because he's also we find out the guy is Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas? Ah, his name. That's the priest's name. Yeah, but he's a, th a, th a thousand years old. I've seen a thousand... Yeah, there's a... Did you read what part of the Bible that was? It was 27, but... 
Uh, I can I look it up see. in my Bible, actually, if you want to. Well, I didn't know what part of the Bible. What uh, 20, book? Oh, shit. Yeah, right. 20 uh, is chapter 20 or what? Chapter 20, verse 7. Uh. <clears throat> Something about, and it's scribbled. They go to this priest's apartment and it's scribbled all over the walls. In thousand years, I've seen horrible shit. And pretty much, you know where the movie's going. And Arnold has no clue. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure this out. 27 i'm like it's a bible verse god yeah, damn it yeah and the priest yeah again homeless for the last six months he really was living on a prayer uh, <laughs> yeah because arnold sees that he's a priest like he pulls off the thing in the subway tunnel he sees he's a priest yeah i i have it here i said arnold starts thinking i that's what i wrote down but no he he doesn't start thinking until like <laughs> two or three scenes <laughs> later he, i'm sorry yeah he he, he f starts really thinking when 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 he gets the a, a moral quandary that's when he starts thinking before he he before that he's like nah i'm just doing my job here yeah yeah like <laughs> that that banker has some serious enemies <laughs> like priests apparently want to kill him and he well afterwards they after in the priest's apartment they go to the church where the priest was no and they talked to the bald priest right the fat priest yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the fat bald priest mm -hmm. yeah and who he may or may not own a leather jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a real world war ii uh, he's a tough guy priest he yeah, looks yeah. tough guy yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah like i would i he could ride a motorcycle maybe buffy buffy priest yeah yeah and he just finds out basically some background info right well they go fucking it's like the, the conspiracy church it's uh they go in the church <laughs> yeah. they go like in one room Alex Jones. and there's yeah, like somebody like with uh with stigmata wounds on the bed and there's another woman like speaking in tongues And I'm like, what kind of church is this? Where yeah, yeah, yeah. you walk also in from edge. the street and one unlocked door. Is, yeah, yeah. And you have the they have cutting edge room. technology down yeah, in yeah. the basement, like great PCs, like yeah, uh, uh, demon to text yeah, interfaces. Faces. Yeah, yeah, like wow. really good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah. And he, the demon, in the meantime, uh, rallies his troops. And, and he visits the doctor, no? Yeah, the therapist of exactly, Christine York. Exactly. So the therapist, we find out that it's like a sort of... Uh, she's at the graveyard and it's her parents. They're dead. And <clears> she lives with a woman who... Married the, the nurse, the demon nurse. Yeah, who, the demon nurse who did the... Who kidnapped her when she was born. Yeah, for the ritual and then returned her. And she married the father after the wife died. No, but the father's also dead. Yeah, yeah, but oh, he died and later. Right. And he now died she's later. the stepmother. Yeah, exactly. She's just with, as her stepmother. The only, okay. the only one so it's good we're talking about this. So now I can yeah. understand the movie. <laughs> <laughs> the very important yeah. plot points of this. And movie. her psychologist, or her psychiatrist, I guess, yeah. is the guy who performed the satanic ritual. So the plot thickens. And it thickens even more because Satan comes to visit said doctor. Yeah. yeah. And he's <laughs> like, I'm coming to your place. And the doctor's like, all right, I guess... Uh, yeah, he's yeah. pretty psyched about it i think he knows what's about to happen i mean if you like that's like being like a, a beatles fan for like 50 years and then and they come you to your and house you're, and you're like oh and, man yeah. it's gonna be so loud i don't like the music that much <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's like yeah never meet your star uh, your your the people you you admire because you're always gonna be disappointed but in this case it's just i think he's disappointed because he didn't include him in the sex dream because he has a decent looking wife a very decent looking wife as we found out yeah. and a fairly good looking daughter and <laughs> he's and the demon is like i'm gonna bang those two basically and then we have a dream sequence that well it's like a dream sequence i think it's them doing it i think it's yeah no uh, no, no he definitely fucked those two no but ladies. he also like does that whole because there's you see them naked in the bed together the camera pans down yeah. so i guess uh spoiler alert uh, cinematography yeah and it pans down and the magic happens <laughs> the magic happens like <laughs> I mean, uh, literally the, magic the is no, no, the literally magic is happening here because he is melting into their bodies while banging both of them yeah it's probably like if you have a threesome and on we see mother daughter maybe. we see mother daughter boobs next to each other and i have to say i i th those are familiar boobs like yeah. those those look those i've seen those kind of boobs on women before and it it gave me a nice nostalgia <laughs> boost like i was like ah, back oh, in boobs, the days i've seen you yeah i've seen those tits before the 
that uh, those were those were the times. Well, but also it's uh, it's like a mother daughter <laughs> sex scene. I'm like, wow, that's racy for like uh, 1999. Yeah, no, it was it was. What was it? did the movie have an R rating? Oh, definitely, dude. It has tits in it. Of and, course, and no, it's R rated. But I think it had the R rating for the, the Fox. Yeah, for the no for the for the. Arnold says fuck like four or five times. Yeah, in and this. for like the whole uh, satanic rituals and all that. Oh and yeah, so that then g- they're that like, oh, and now we'll just put in as many titties as we can because we got the R rating anyway. Oh, dude, you can't you can't show that. Can at, you be at, like at this anti-church church camp in America? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, you can if you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you are, if you are Arnold Schwarzenegger, no, rated R. It's, it's apparently it's free. rated R for Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> R- R- I only do R-rated movies because of Arnold. <laughs> Why doesn't he play a pirate? And then uh, yeah. Christine, because that's the name of the of the lady. So that's the name. She's now twenty years old. That's the name of. I'm the... working at the shipyard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and she's at home just relaxing. And then oh, cool. the three bopping around. Three priests come, and you're like, "All right, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a joke." It's <laughs> <laughs> three priests come into a room, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "All right, it's the next sex scene." <laughs> <laughs> well. I th- I wrote down rape maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark. it was like heavily implied yeah and then no you just want to give her the last rites before killing her because those are the expeditionary the knights of the, the knights Vatican? of the something the knights who say equins knights something like Wh- this. whatever isn't yeah. it maybe the heart, isn't the, it the, it's the, I, whatever I it, haven't they, had a chance to consult my legal team. Well, they go to house on her. They want to kill her. She realizes she hides in her closet. She's hidden perfectly. The guy reaches up to reach her, will never reach her. And she goes out of her way to slap him with her shoe. Well, no, she didn't slap him. She like... She laid onto him with yeah, the heel. That, that yeah. was the, yeah, the, the heel. Like, that'll that, hurt. Yeah, I, that I gave thing. it to you. If but you, still, you hit that guy, there's two more where that came from. Yeah, like, no, no, no. It was stupid. Game? It was stupid. Yeah, yeah. On, on her part, it was stupid. But... Uh, the, the worst movie ever no. woman hides in the <laughs> closet gets closet caught and gets caught yeah such a cliche but she also like she fights back like there's a yeah she does there's definitely back, yeah. first glimpses of hey how about we have a damsel in dis- uh, distress kind of situation but also the damsel is not completely helpless yeah she always has an urge to be in command of her own destiny yeah, to yeah, yeah. She tries later to have on agency. In the end game also, she then tries she, has to have, a, she tries to have agency. She doesn't really have it, but she tries to at least. At and least, at least she demands it. Let's say. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> what a what a crazy concept. A woman wants something that she deserves. Weird. Oh, uh, and then Arnold comes in, no, and he saves the day. Yeah, because he, he uh, figures out the clues from like the oh, from Thomas. Fuck. There's the whole no, because that, Thomas gets they, they ritually find the murdered. Dead priest. They yeah. find the dead priest who's ritually murdered by he, Satan. Yeah, he was he nailed ca- in cross form onto the onto the ceiling. But he carves into himself where the no, name. No, I don't think that wasn't of, himself. But why would Satan carve also, out he, the name? Dude, Satan left him alive, and that fucking cop shot him. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> we totally forgot about yeah. that. Like. The, and there was a whole thing <laughs> the demon, the, 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 where Satan spared his enemy. No, I think, yeah, maybe. Yeah. He spared his enemy. Like, t- t- but Satan, the cop was also Satan. Satan could That's the cop who also let Satan in to the priest in the first place. Yeah, but then... We totally forgot that whole part of the doesn't, movie. Doesn't, <laughs> whatever. Does, does, Satan, does Satan not know when somebody is dead? Because he doesn't, shouldn't he feel like, oh, yeah, now no, he's but in he hell? Had the, he had the tongue out. He was immobilized. I think Satan was fine letting him suffer, to be honest. Because that guy couldn't, like, use yeah, a typewriter. Or or no, not in his condition. <laughs> No, like, <laughs> like like the first thing they do is they sedate him and no, oh, yeah, sedate him, sedate him. But what then happens? Uh, so then Arnold, through him, finds out that he has to go to Christine and save her. He finds out she's called Christine, Christine and York, he because p- it says Christ Christ in York. Yeah, so Christ is in New York. I yeah. can't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the, the Pollock's character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, it's probably like. Christine, Christine York oh, Christ and we Christ know that York was the name of her dead parents so it's yeah. logical to assume that she has the same name uh huh exactly and so Arnold busts in while the priests try to kill her and he saves the day basically like he gets the priests one of them's Escapes. Slaps him around a little bit and escapes yeah, yeah. Um, and afterwards everyone thinks it's safe and then Arnold steals a book yes but first he sees that she has the same music box 
as is own dead daughter uh, which i think well was the daughter we assume is dead we don't know yet but mm -hmm. i think at that time that, come movie. on dude but yeah, yeah if yeah. you've seen the movie before then you know she's dead yeah yeah but also if you didn't see the movie before no if you've seen a any movie, movie before yeah, a that's, movie. Movie. yeah that's true movie. yeah 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 <laughs> like, it is it feels like that's just the way that story it is feels told. like they used like eight different cliched elements of different movies and just like like rob zombie one together well they rob zombie one and i'll tell you exactly why because it's uh the end of days <laughs> it was the fucking fin de siècle it was 1999 <laughs> you're like god damn it every plot every screenplay yeah, every plot let's idea recycle it yeah that, ha that has something to do we they can only make these movies once people yeah that, that would be funny like the director actually thought the world would end and he's like I can plagiarize everybody because we're gonna be all <laughs> dead afterwards. It's gonna, not gonna matter. Who's gonna sue me if anybody's dead? Yeah, <laughs> like so, and they find that he steals the book, and it's Arnold yes. with the book. And yes. luckily, the book has lots of pictures because he's not <laughs> fucking reading the text. He he grabbed a medallion <laughs> from one of the priests, and it's a yeah. sword hidden in the heart. Yes, and he just he just he has waves a through the pages book. of yeah. the book. And all of a sudden, there's a picture pre -Google. It's pre -Google. of exactly that uh, medallion yeah. in the book. And he's like, oh, my God, these things go together. Yeah, he's putting one and one together, literally, yeah. And then he's going back into the house. And I think the... Arnold Steele's book. The, yeah, compares exactly. Pictures. And then the demon... The, the oh, Satan then Sa it's on. Because then the fat lady beats the demon, uh, beats Arnold. Uh, yeah, yeah. R right after Pollock's character gets fucking annihilated, too. His car gets exploded. Oh, that's then? Yeah, that's in the same thing, I think. And oh, right, here it is. Yeah, yeah, because then he gets angry. The Satan gets angry yeah, because so they couldn't bring the girl to him. So he punches through the therapist's face. Oh, that happens, yeah. yeah. So Arnold... Uh, Which, and again, one of the best scenes yeah. in this fucking yeah. movie. Yeah. It is so no, but sudden... And so, like, even if we tell you right now, when you're gonna watch this movie, you're gonna be surprised when he gets punched into the into in the face. Well, through the face, like he stops existing immediately. It's like the yeah, you said it. It was like a, a Game of Thrones kind of thing where it's like the mountain killing somebody, but yeah, just because like, it's sort of an actor that's. He doesn't have too many talking roles, but he's uh, he's, he's a famous actor. He's a famous actor, so yeah. you think, of course, he's gonna. Uh, contribute heavily to the story in the second and third act or something. Yeah, he seems but then he's like just a killed off. Bad he's just killed off like a throwaway character. Yeah, and that's quite modern, I thought. Oh, no, right before that, Arnold gets beat up by the her mother-in-law, <laughs> who was the <laughs> yeah. diabolic nurse. Yeah, and she dishes out good for about half a minute. Arnold just can't Kicks contain his she is, ass. She's kicking his ass because at the like the first five times. She slaps him around and Arnold's and she has like, demon claws. no, she stop, has demon claws. I cannot hit the lady. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, old woman, why are you doing this? Yeah. Come on, I can't, I can't hit back. Let me, let me just escape with this woman. And, uh, yeah. and then he has to actually kick her ass and kick her as she does. Uh, he does. He basically suplex hers into the coffee table. Oh, right. And her head is like stuck in the coffee table. Then. Yep. Yeah, she yeah, goes yeah, down. Yeah. She goes down for the count. Yeah. And also, in the meanwhile, Satan's standing outside and goes into pizza, a dark corner. Pizza. And I'm like, is he going to masturbate? He just had yeah, sex. Yeah. No, he, I he pisses. Too. He pisses and it's honestly, a dark fluid. Uh, honestly, I thought uh, the plan was like a classic ruse of like public intoxication and public in, uh, uh, exposure. You know, when you pee outside, yeah. you, it's not allowed in the US, in most cities. New York, it's, it's, it's a, I think it's you can land on the... No fly list. No, the sexual <laughs> offenders register. For sure. But and spoiler alert, for sure it's not allowed in Vienna either. Really? I can't imagine that just peeing dude, on the side dude, of the house I, is allowed. I pissed, I pissed in front of cops, basically. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I've never done that. But <laughs> <laughs> you never felt like you were you were a, a law-abiding citizen while doing it. Yeah, like yeah. You were breaking me, the law. It gave, breaking me that, the law. it gave me that sense of wilderness. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, nature is back, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to shit in this corner next. Yeah. yeah. And then the movie, uh, it was ahead of its time in a lot of things. Because then when they, woke, when, yeah. when, they, when they can't deliver the, the, the girl lady. to Christine, to the devil, the devil's like, and literally, 
you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> Satanic meme. Yes, <laughs> he had one job. Exactly, and you fucked that one up. And he... Bum, 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 what is Satan doing next? Um, well, I'll yeah, tell you what pisses, happens next. He pisses in the corner, and the, to- the, 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 the it's apparently sentient... Or demon-infused piss. Yeah. So it's, it's legit. oil. It's oil also, and he he. With well, that it's demon piss. It can be whatever you want it to be. That's. <laughs> it can taste like raspberry <laughs> sherbet. It can. <laughs> it's. <laughs> All you need is imagination. Yeah. <laughs> he uses it in this case to to light two cars on fire with Kevin Pollack's character in one of them. He, who gets out right as it starts to light on fire, and again. All cars explode when lit on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we have a bunch of explosions in this one. Like, the the, the demon club at the end also explodes. Especially because in the beginning, you're like, this is sort of low budget, except for the helicopter scene, there was really nothing there. Yeah. But then towards the end, they bring it. Yeah, they they really, really dole out the the stuff. And I think at this point, we have some... Arnold's a cop killer. Right, yeah, yeah, he wastes two cops, right. He wastes two cops, and uh, because he somehow realizes they're demons? No. Yes, or at least in the hands of somebody bad. He knows that they're in the pocket of somebody because they don't want to bring in the girl. And the, oh, one of them right. said, bring him to yeah, me. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then, no, and then he said, oh, no, you can kill him. And then he, he has the... Sleeve guns. Oh, yeah. Because that's what gl- you need. Glock 27 sleeve guns or 32s. I'm not sure. But yeah, one of, the smaller, one of the smaller Glocks. But yeah, he has he's fully decked out by Glock. This was some product placement of Glock, right? Well, there. I thought that's where we're watching the movie. That's the connection to Austria, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all that Glockenspiel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> except for the MP5 at the end, it's all Glocks all the way. And I mean, it makes sense because the New York police force at that point they already had Glocks, yeah. already had switched to the Glock. Before that, I think they had the Beretta nine millimeter. I think the ninety three R. Or I something. don't. Whatever. It doesn't matter, really. But uh, what I can tell you is that he shoots the two cops. They flee, and where to? To the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, the at one church, with the fat priest in it. They're confronted again, and all of a sudden, I mean, Arnold has committed at this point. He has just shot two police officers yeah and Which then is, you know a crime and then <laughs> the priest the priest tells him okay listen this is what's happening satan blah blah antichrist the whole story and and, and mm-hmm. arnold's like i i won't believe it bro you just believed in it enough to kill two cops yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. now when someone's now handing you the facts back, you're like yeah. oh no now i'm hearing facts now yeah. i'm in doubt yeah there's a, a, a bit of b- back and forth about his faith yeah he's definitely He's not he's not a hundred percent in some of the time. And he, he Well that comes all together in the next scene. It's the Arnold Dream sequence where he's in his right. home and Satan comes and that's where like they hold they Satan's like, Oh, that's where we hear Arnold's backstory that he had a wife and and a daughter and they died and it seems because that some and then he, asshole Satan, came in with Satan a shotgun. brings him back and yep. uh, Arnold is there and he thinks he can be happy again, but then he learns that he can't. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets real emotional. <laughs> it is, it, it, yeah. That we we get uh, Arnold cry face there. Oh yeah, which is pretty good. It, no, like that is some of the yeah. longest dramatic acting sequences without punching anyone or yeah. <laughs> screaming that Arnold has ever well, had to do. It's not pain; I think. it's internal yeah. pain. Like he can portray yeah. external pain pretty well, but yeah. internal. No, pain. he looked old and broken in some yeah. of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna. And be. I mean, I mean <laughs> that in the nicest way possible, Arnold. So really, Arnold, Arnold, yeah. If you're, if you're listen, listening, if you're listening to this, come on. It's only in in love and 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 respect to you that I'm doing this voice. Of course, I, come I, on. See, he's doing it. I'm not even doing it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Come on, my podcast. Come on, come on, Arnold. It's, it's very important to me. <laughs> we can do pumping iron together. Uh, I can pump your iron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, then we have... Uh, and then Arnold fights Satan because then Arnold yeah, commits and yeah, then yeah, the exactly. dream sequence is over and Arnold says, no, never, because basically Satan wants him to release the yeah, whereabouts of the... Yeah, then we have a basically the, a 24-7 non-stop action scene, basically. Basically. Like, she gets abducted again. He gets put on a cross. He gets He shoots down. his body. He shoots Kevin Pollock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He shoots him in the shoulder. Right. Yeah. yeah. That that moment I think was the weirdest one. Because let's be honest, if you shoot your buddy 
and he says he's fine with it, then he's definitely a possessed demon. by a demon. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like, Nobody is going to be cool with getting <laughs> shot on purpose by you. If it's an accident and you have like the coolest friend, he's still going to be your friend. But if you shoot him on purpose, he's not going to be fine with it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because from Kevin Pollack's perspective, it just looks like your friend is going off the rails and trying to kill himself, and now he externalizes that hatred and just tries to kill you. That's what a normal human response would be. Oh, shit, my friend is trying to kill me. Not like, oh, do you think about demons? Oh, yeah, you think they are real? Cool, cool, cool. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. I'm, I'm going to help you out with this now. Like, there's no, there's no, there's no reason for Kevin Pollack to be on, the, on his side at all at this point that's like yeah i'm gonna burn down your house and then i want to sleep in the apartment that uh, you have to rent out like it's not <laughs> it's like way beyond things that you do for your friend you know it was pretty dope but we also got to see a blind bouncer like five minutes later which was also pretty dope <laughs> Yeah, it's we're skipping over some stuff, but it doesn't really. Yeah, what happens after he shoots uh, Kevin Pollack? Uh, then there's that. Uh, he says, "Let's meet at the church in an hour." They're in the church again, exactly, and that's when they the 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 knights come back. They try to kill her again. Yep. And then Satan comes. Yep. Exactly. Oh, and then Satan comes and kidnaps her, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So he, that's when they take it out to the alley. Yep. Uh, her and uh, Arnold, yep. and they're surrounded. And then Kevin Pollack comes back. And he still thinks he's his buddy. And he thinks he's his buddy. I just shot him. He's my buddy. He puts the girl in the car. Kevin Pollack also, drives that dude off. That shouldn't drive and with her. Kevin Pollack, arm. yeah, drives <laughs> off. That should have been your first clue that, he, oh, he can drive like with his arm being shot at the <laughs> at the upper arm. Like, I that mean, should, Americans have automatics. You. Yeah, for sure. But for still, sure it helps. Even, even, even if it's automatic, he got shot in and the then left shoulder. Arnold so is betrayed because the car drives away. She's locked in the car, can't get out. And then the mob just comes down on him. And at first you think he's going to whip it around. But no, they just beat him, beat him, beat him. Satan comes, kicks Again, him when he he's down. Again, his ass kicked, yeah. And then quite literally, Arnold is crucified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a trash crucifix and put up on the rafters, basically. Yeah, hung but out to dry. Hung out to dry. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then your priest comes back. And what doesn't fit into this theme at all is then an, a following resurrection. That would be totally crazy. Yeah, no one could have <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. The the Jesus metaphors don't really shine through in this one because that's the subtext. They're, they're, they're very subtle. <laughs> they're very subtle Arnold about the Jesus. Jesus metaphors. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't sacrifice himself. He turned water himself. to muscles. <laughs> 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 Muscle milk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the badass priest that the comes in. Actually, that is a thing. That is a thing. They're called... Uh, 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 muscles uh, for Jesus? Something like that. Yeah. Like they're, they're bodybuilders. And they hold and muscle mass? They <laughs> <laughs> probably probably and the like the body of christ is probably just a protein bar or yeah, something like sure. that <laughs> the body of christ yeah yeah the body of christ get shredded for god no yeah. there, there's actually like a thing about this like they they rip apps books. for jesus yeah apps for jesus basically yeah yeah and there's like a whole wrestling thing around it too oh for sure there's yeah. a wrestling thing around it i'm surprised hicks are also into uh <laughs> Well, I, I, that rednecks also love Jesus. Yeah, that's a weird crossover. Yeah. Have you read that article crossover. that there's this uh, there's a scientifically proven crossover that between people who are religious and people who believe in in conspiracy theories? Hey, that makes sense. It's a whole conspiracy theory yeah. in itself. So yeah. So I would cool. take wrestling right in there. Those people probably like wrestling also. Yeah. Those people probably like wrestling also. So at the end, we get like a a sweet ass fifteen minutes action scene. Where Arnold Swatter... Well, yeah, then, he then, then Arnold... Then the priest comes in his badass leather jacket. Yeah. And he brings Arnold down and he fixes him up and Arnold goes to some random weapon store. No, we no, no, Striker. Oh, he goes striker. Back, he it's goes his, back it's to his, his old outfit. Yeah, his old outfit. And they are like, hey, you haven't been into work in like three days. And Arnold's like, give me the guns. Yeah, I'm just gonna check out this 9mm and this weapons grade grenade launcher. Yeah, and he <laughs> packs some grenades as well. Which are so illegal. <laughs> yeah, for sure that's not street <laughs> legal. Can't, you can't just buy under barrel rocket launchers. You can, well, the rocket, actually the, the RPG and I keep launcher. Them and I keep them for deployment in New York City. What bad can happen? Yeah, exactly. There's no such thing as like terrorist well, attacks. Wow, well, now that you say it, I mean, it is a pre-9-11 movie yeah exactly yeah so it's fine 
<laughs> <laughs> and then there's the scene that Arnold's it's just plain to see. somehow goes into he somehow has the clue where to go oh no he, he goes and looks in the police computer yeah. where his buddy's car is mm -hmm. and then he follows that and it's like a, he goes in a basement and a sub basement and then the cleaning room of that basement to another basement and further down where it's like Earth yeah, and we, walls we go, and, and he has, like yeah, uh, and he has to pass a blind bouncer. Yeah, a guy who got his eyes ripped out and then his eyelids sewn stitched, shut. Yeah, sewn shut. Yeah, makeup was good in the movie. Oh, so good. Also in the beginning when Arnold cut had himself. that cut on his hand, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that looked real yucky. Yeah, that looked that looked real. That looked really good. Again, there's, there's they didn't there's, have a lot of effects, but when they had them, they they nailed them. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, to a cross. Yeah, uh, they crossed their T's and dotted their eyes. <laughs> especially with that dude so he goes into that basement where they have like a bang orgy yeah and in, in progress yeah and his uh, cop friend is there oh actually it's not a bang party it's very much sweet love making for a demon at least like well, he's a, a very atypical satan because he yeah. kisses his wife he does have some wife. romantic ideas yeah yeah he's like a you could say satan is old school yeah <laughs> when it comes to courtship because he's like like let me kiss you on the lips first and like you want me to like, you know he's he's being a he's being a gentle lover yeah but i feel like he's just it's just i for mean sure. 300 people are also watching at yeah. that point and arnie is just in between those people and i'm not sure why those people are there because then there's shots fired and arnold kills that cop and who he already shot before so he yeah. kills her twice now yeah and uh and, yeah see a and black cop goes <laughs> black cop <laughs> goes down twice black yeah. female cop goes down twice yeah, 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 yeah and then he takes christine and they flee and they flee into the subway and they get run over by the subway and then the subway driver stops like 50 meters behind them sure the they get on the subway really and he's good. like let's let's get the hell out of here yeah and no no first he grenade launches a door into the subway oh that's line. how they get yeah, into yeah, the yeah. subway he's, first he, of all he's, he uses that grenade launcher very liberally like he <laughs> they they have a whole action sequence on the train where where like let's go fast and then the demon on the tracks and they drive him over and then he punches through the through the metal of well, the, the demon of the is on the tracks and they're about to drive him through and the train conductor's like oh no there's someone on the tracks and he slows slow down. down and arnold takes the yeah. lever and pushes it forward yeah no we go fast yeah <laughs> yes but like a neat but first like arnold is having a hard time overpowering this old guy who's the train conductor like <laughs> yeah, arnold is legitimately right. struggling so many in like times. pulling him up i'm like arnold Dude, come on alcoholism, get it together that those are the dangers of alcoholism i think that they're trying to warn us here about <laughs> because he he stabs the not no he doesn't stab him but he shoots the demon also like how many times a lot yeah like a lot. <laughs> after having learned quite in the beginning that it does nothing well it, well, it, it sort of delays him yeah it, it, it it's slows like him, with the, it's, it's like him dumb. Yeah. it's like a religious uh, t2 yeah exactly it's yeah like, yeah it's like <laughs> have you heard about jesus it's like uh, yeah later day saints of jesus christ of terminators yeah that's <laughs> what he is he's unstoppable and a killing machine and also well in splitsies after the train crash completely like we have a oh, very yeah, he's, ridiculous he's wrecked. scene there he's, wrecked. he's really wrecked and then he leaves that body and we have like what three minutes remaining that's only like a quick quickie you you, you can't nah, you can impregnate well, exactly they get out of the subway uh you probably could they, they, mm -hmm. uh if you're really fast about it they yeah. leave the subway and then it says Go seven to minutes to midnight midnight or and then minutes, they're whatever. in church and they An arbitrary amounts of minutes before midnight yeah. because it doesn't matter really and they basically they're on lockdown and they come in and they resist but then the demon comes in satan comes in and he possesses arnold himself and at first he comes as a huge fire dragon which is pretty impressive for 90 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely special something effects to, some, f something to look at definitely yeah but, uh, yeah but also i mean with that look you can't seduce a lady like you're like not like oh you know, well, he's you so fucked yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't in, in, the, in your like this is what i really look like i wanted to catfish you it's like the, uh, the dangers of tinder before oh so tinder. was that the whole thing <laughs> was that oh dating. so now i'm getting it's a it's an online dating so reference. then when uh, when sate possesses arnold yeah like his plan was to have sex with that lady through arnold's body yeah yeah, yeah. that was the whole oh thing. so make it like a super strong 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> Antichrist. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Arnold would have been the one. But it doesn't <laughs> come to Antichrist. that. <laughs> because then Arnold is struggling with himself. And here again, some of Arnold's best work. He's the acting, muscles you can believe in. He, he's acting against himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it really lo looks it, like a struggle. So that's why I can say that. <laughs> he yeah, he's struggling with himself. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And then he tosses himself on Gabriel's sword. Yeah. The sword that is there, like now the fifth time it's in a shot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the no, first that was, one we were like, like, all right, was, pretty much someone's gonna fall on that sword or it's gonna be used. Gonna, yeah, exactly. It was a Chekhov's sword yeah. and he tosses himself on that sword. Nobody jacked off with the sword. No. I don't know what you were watching, <laughs> but I, I get your reference. Yeah, that, that, that cuts all over my hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, Arnold, Arnold. Chekhov gun, that's yeah. the, the, the term, no? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's now so much funnier. Thanks. <laughs> that's what I call my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Chekhov gun. If you show it in the first act, it has to be used by the third act. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> people That's don't the like, rule of theater. Pe people don't like going to the theater with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, and so Arnold falls on the sword for her, quite literally. The demon expels out of his body. Yeah, and engulfs vanishes. everything into flames. Yeah, and then vanishes. Yeah. yeah. Ah, but we forgot. Before the demon appears, Arnold has this, like, saintly experience. Yeah, this yeah, holy yeah, experience yeah, he where Jesus. he's like, he finds Jesus and he understands. And there's a reason behind everything. Well, so I, I guess, I think... Hollywood after all. What he, what he really finds out in this moment is that he is beyond saving, but what he can save is, is the girl. And through saving the girl, he redeems himself in the eyes of God, which brings him onto heaven. Which is how you make life livable. You take on responsibility. Mm -hmm. You make yeah, life yeah. worthwhile. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very deep. This oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it has a very intricate message and yeah, blah, 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 blah. That's and then the is there a wrap up? Yeah, I don't think there's a much no, of a wrap she, up. Everyone's it. dead. Yeah, I think it. besides Arnold, the only person who survives is the... Arnold doesn't survive. Uh, no, exactly. You're yeah, right. Arnold is <laughs> fucking dead besides in this Besides Christine, one. the only person who survives is uh, the bald priest, leather jacket priest. Does, Does he? he come back? I don't know, man. The church is Christine in ashes. Is, Christine is, yeah, it, whatever. And the, you're right. The film stops with everyone zooming out, and it's midnight. The yeah. ball drops, and it's Done. midnight. Done. Yeah. It's no, the new no. millennium, and we, that's we it. Don't have Y2K. A, yeah. All the computers stand still, and yeah, that's we it. don't have a five years later. We don't have anything no. like that, which is fine for this. I mean, his well, mission, her, he, her, he, her he, kid could potentially be the Antichrist, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how. I don't honestly, know how Catholic Church canon honestly, works. Honestly, but <laughs> honestly, I'm happy that it didn't go down the ninth gate or like the stupid route of having a happy ending and then after the happy ending having a something. A bad ending. Not, ha not having a bad ending, but like an open ending where like some one other character is like winking at the camera or something like that. Where oh, like, I get it. Or like you is have the top falling over or not? Or, or, or like, yeah, exactly. Or like the blind albino dude is showing up in the background. We didn't talk about him at all oh, no. so far, but he was in this movie. Blind Albino, good shout out to you. He, you're dope. But, uh, Blind Black Albino, yeah. I guess. Can I say Blalbino? that? Albino? Yeah. Blalbino, dude, yeah. You think there's a name for that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's called, uh, I think it's called uh, Extreme Michael Jackson <laughs> Syndrome. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think that was the name. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's in this movie. He's he plays a crazy character who explodes into a million shards and never shows up again. But a lot like, of if 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 he was like in the end scene oh, of yeah, the movie that made it in the back and 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 he's like winking at the camera or something like the demon is still here. Wait for part two or something, yeah. which will never come because this wasn't a box office success. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and because it was usually it was just I think quick. It was a we got two months of budget. Let's yeah, do we an have action Y2K movie coming for Y2K. Up. We need a Y2K. Let's do a, there's no horror movie yet. Let's do we it. We don't have an Arnold Schwarzenegger with Y2K yet. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah let's, basically let's, that's it. Let's get it done before yeah. the millennium. All right. Uh, Cinematography. Yeah, I mean, a child of its time. So Definitely. that was the late 90s. And yeah. the special reflect <laughs> effects let you know it. Having said that, I think it came out the same year as The Matrix. Mm -hmm. And of course, not even close to as groundbreaking. Yeah, but as I think the like The Matrix was. Triple so if the you budget, compare it to yeah. The Matrix 
the special effects sucked but if you let it be what it is which is like a, a movie 90s action movie yeah. which didn't have uh, the focus on uh, on special effects as was still the norm back then yeah then I think it's there good were, there were some sweet effects in there like I, I love the, the invisibility thing that the demon soul had pre- it was predator style so yeah, that's yeah a little bit but better that's how you knew Arnold can handle it <laughs> you can't well, like that was his idea yeah. I have an idea for this effect yeah <laughs> let's make it invisible come on guys you know what can what fears man the most the thing that he can't see ah <laughs> <laughs> it's very deep come on guys it taps into the the, the, the inner part of your soul yeah. uh, but and no uh, not the foot soul the soul <laughs> in your heart <laughs> it taps into the inner part of your soul rips out femur yes yes <laughs> yeah it's gonna break your goddamn spine but That's the best <laughs> the best times that they had okay so the fir- the best cgi of best but what was an interesting cgi was when they're when they were having that gruesome uh, gruesome threesome <laughs> gruesome yeah, the gruesome, twosome, the gruesome awesome. threesome no the gruesome threesome <laughs> yeah no great first of all excellent play of words I love it uh, <laughs> fuck you Jack and Reggie um, that's how somebody is a team player right there um, I don't know what I did <laughs> <laughs> also an aspect of my <laughs> podcast yeah, you're doing very well I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased no but they when the mother and the daughter's arm were melting and satan was melting right. they're also so like sexy. it was like they and were well having done. a threesome on mushrooms or yeah it was really trippy i was and like it, what and it seemed i better like never one, do this it seemed like like most of that scene was one continuous tracking shot with a lot of cgi and re- a green screen and what I found particularly interesting in what was that this, the, the CGI was better than the green screen effect. Like a green screen effect normally is way easier to nail down than a CGI effect. But the CGI effects in this one were great. The apple, the fucking sliced apple with the demons on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. top of it, that was, that was pretty brilliant. Then the demon in his end form was pretty amazing, especially for 99. That looked amazing. That looked mm-hmm. really, really good. And Arnold Schwarzenegger transforming with the fucking demon skin oh, yeah. shining through and everything. That one looked also really good. What didn't look good was the effect where he punched through the fucking guy's head. It looked like a fucking exploding <laughs> melon or something. Well, uh- <laughs> it looked so fake. It was so funny. Well, I thought that reminded me of like those uh, those effects from like uh, 70s uh, Asian action movies where or they like would have scanners that, that or clay head yeah, and yeah, someone that punches explodes. through. Yeah, yeah, true. Or scanners. Yeah, yeah, yeah where just a rubber but, thing explodes. And I, I wasn't so sure if that was CGI or if that was, was uh, analog, but... For me, the best, Ooh, the best could special be, effects. Could be actually analog, yeah. The best special effects of the movie were the the analog ones, like the makeup, uh, the makeup, and and all that stuff. That was, uh, and yeah. I guess also with Arnold's uh, face transition, for sure they did a lot. Yeah, that, that makeup wise also, and then cut some stuff in there. Fair enough, fair enough. But it also the like, let's frame it that way. The CGI is outstanding to really good. No real blunders there, but with the with the with the practical effect it's rather either really really good or dog shit like they had the one where where they simulated uh, earthquakes oh where they just, just shook the camera, camera shaking. shaking which is so lazy filmmaking even for 99 like that was bad like the next generation like star trek next generation figured that out like 10 years before that yeah <laughs> by having by having actually the this whole stage move instead of uh, having the actors move. Yeah, but I think that was shot on the outside streets of New York. So, if you yeah, whatever. Like that <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you can find a way. You can find a way. And the waves, the CGI waves during the dream sequence oh, yeah. were also pretty good where they had basically two overlaying scenes that were the same scenes. It and was, had two, to, it was two different realities. Yeah, and but they shot both at the same time for at least a short while and had to overlap them. And uh-huh. that looked also, I think, for the time, really good. Yeah. No, the cinematography, for that alone, you can watch it. If you're interested into cinematography and you want to see an example of well-done CGI for the early 90s, uh, late 90s, this is an example. Yeah, I mean that you have to be a quite a specific person to of lo- course, enjoy look for that. a movie. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. For those criteria. But if you like if you compare it to like uh what was it? Uh, Jurassic Park was 93, 
this is six years after after Jurassic Park, and a lot of the stuff is significantly better yeah. done than than especially textures well, like I'll the detail you, of, oh, tex yeah. of textures yeah. because some of those some of those velociraptors in the original Jurassic Park look a little big like cardboard well, cutouts nowadays. nowadays it's uh, 25 years later yeah no yeah. no but that was like the the golden mark of CGI was yeah. was Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, Park for, for sure. the longest time well also Jurassic Park. CGI and also analog. They also true. Did they had like both. amazing they, mechatronic that was their effects. Big yeah, thing that's true. That's true. Combining the two. Right. Fair enough. Sounds. There wasn't a lot of sound. Well, there was constant sound. There was quite sound. a bit of sound. There was constant If I sound. remind you, and the best thing <laughs> was Arnold doing weird <laughs> noises like, <laughs> Oof, ar, ar. like he did like twenty percent of uh, his dialogues was this. Yeah, ar, ar, ar. at this point I'm not even shocked by that anymore. But <laughs> it was, I mean, we saw the trailer before, and they made a special point in the trailer featuring music from Limp Bizkit, Guns N' Roses. L yeah, Limp Bizkit was the second one, yeah. and then a few other ones. Yeah, Corn was Corn in it. Yeah, okay, and cool. a couple of bands, and we we're like, well, that's gonna be a badass soundtrack. And then it turns out, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just ambient noise. Mm -hmm. And in order to give that noise sort of a modern connotation, or to make it, they use Whatever. that sort of music. Like they use that, that dude. They, I, they use that music the same way the U.S. government uses it to like force terrorists <laughs> out. You know, like when the CIA yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Just bombards. <laughs> it's or like the in North Korea, the giant radios that blast uh, music propaganda. Over, oh, yeah, over the over the border. Like it's yeah. an acoustic attack. Like it doesn't. You're not supposed to to experience the music directly. It's just there as a distraction. It feels almost. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not it's not there to to help you guide your emotion, which normally music does. Is it 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 helps you feel your way into a scene. But in this case, it's either background noise or just, yeah, there's there's no real music in this one. And the music that is in there is unremarkable, to say the least. I mean, the, the music in the in the credits was okay. But uh, I was like, that's a, that that was was sort of a happy-go-lucky music. Yeah, thing, exactly. No? It wasn't I was that like, bad. This was a, it wasn't that bad. It didn't, didn't fit at all, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Otherwise... I mean, the sound, sound also, generally speaking, was good yeah. because the best sound, when there was that face punch... Yes, that sound as well. Like I sat up straight, and that then was a smack. Yeah, I only, I saw I heard the face punch before I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Then the pussy in the fridge was pretty good. Oh, the cat, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Pussy. <laughs> there was no literal. <laughs> Who keeps pussies in the freezer? I mean, in the summertime, I guess if you the just want something seven. cold around in uh, around. <laughs> around your beer yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's cozy yeah. you shop a, a can of <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer just keeps his like the police force is like why did you keep like 12 vagina lips in your freezer oh uh, if I have friends over and like we watch the ball game we watch the games we want you can have that joke yeah. <laughs> it's all yours <laughs> that's gross and not funny <laughs> and also the first song the title sequence it, it felt like is this a scary Christmas movie <laughs> like yeah, I was like is yeah. this that uh, w what's that Christmas movie with uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger um, the one with the super blaster hero yeah thingy yeah I, I was like is this part two but it <laughs> goes for a darker and spin and the goddamn minivan yeah <laughs> Yeah, we only got one famous, well, kind of famous uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger qu quote out of this movie, and that was, if, if we're staying with sound, and uh, that was, uh, uh, you don't know me, I'm a, uh, compared to you, I'm a fucking choir boy or something. Oh, choir you're, boy, you're yeah. a fucking yeah. choir boy. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that one. I didn't know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a, a peripheral. I mean, to uh, be Arnold honest, I, I haven't seen this movie before. I me neither. I can't say that about many other Arnold movies. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a rather uh, obscure, nowadays especially, a rather yeah. obscure Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I'm pretty sure it was back then also, because like yeah, I said, this was not his role. Yeah, wide release and everything. This was not his role. Definitely not. Definitely not. I think four or five other people at that point, like Keanu Reeves. It's like, let's make religious die hard. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who do you got? Uh, actually, Kevin Sorbo would be perfect because he's like a hardcore Christian. Oh, is he the Hercules? Yeah, he's, oh. a, he's a hardcore Christian. Like, he on, like he's, he's doing the God's Not Dead movies. Yeah. That's him. But like... He loves Jesus. That's like when you get... 
when John Travolta did that Scientology movie, that was also bad. <laughs> so just being Battle, a devotee. Battlefield Earth? Yeah. yeah, Battlefield Earth was dog shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I but guess this, maybe, he did, maybe he did totally encompass that religion. <laughs> so maybe it yeah. was a success after all. Best moment. Of Battlefield Earth? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> no, the guy getting his face punched in. Yeah, for sure face punch. I have a couple of uh, best uh, moment uh, honorable mentions. Yeah, please. Yeah. So, uh, without special order, I guess in order of appearance. Uh, the boob grab. So, when the Satan takes the first body and then just comes out of the bathroom, grabs the lady by the boob, kisses her, and then blows up the restaurant. I was like, all right, this is getting us somewhere. Then... Arnold crying. <laughs> yeah, that which one. I that also one wasn't thought bad. you that don't see bad. that often. Yeah, the, uh, crying Arnold is a rare sight. And then I had one instance where I correctly guessed that he was about to say, "It's not, you, it's not my God, and it's our oh God." God yes. And I, I completely <laughs> recognized he was going to say, "It's our God," yep, and yep. I, I'm always so happy when that happens. And then I have written down here, "Knife to meet you," but I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> That's what was that was with the priests, and I said I a knife to meet you, yeah, because Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger was jumping the on the yeah, yeah, yeah. jumping on the knife knife priest, yeah, yeah. Knife, a the, knife priest, yeah. I'm a knife priest, you know, I I I love I love the I love Jesus, I love I love the church, I love I don't even know what ox, accent I'm doing right now, but I'm 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 pretty sure it's I don't know somebody from bristol <laughs> <laughs> bristol with apparently a, 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 a vitamin d deficiency because my brain is not working right uh. <laughs> and the the worst moment i also wrote that down yeah please was when the fat lady was punching arnold schwarzenegger and beating him in hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah and i was like arnold this is <laughs> God, not this you is embarrassing this is not you arnold <laughs> you can do better yeah. You've messed the Terminator. <laughs> You've been the Terminator, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You killed, You've killed a couple of Predators at this time. Yeah, yeah. And you killed m multiple Terminators too, yeah. as Terminator. Like, it's been... For me, best moment probably mommy daughter threesome. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, that one was pretty dope. That was a good Again, scene. Again, those nipples were, and ah, it just. I mean, if that scene would have been a legit uh, mother daughter uh, Satan threesome, and they would have like stayed on it with like a uh, <laughs> yeah, soft core pores on the aspect, me about your I would have been like, oh, this is cheesy. This is a fucking B movie. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the reason that the, mm -hmm. the way they brought in those visual effects, I was yeah. like, wow, this is... This is artistic. This <laughs> is artistic <laughs> interest. <laughs> this has artistic credibility. Yeah. There were, for an American I movie, there were also lots of breasts in the movie. Yeah, but lots a lot of, of frontal press. nudity. We, we see, we see uh, Christine York's uh, tits yeah. boobalous too. And, oh my God, she has gorgeous tits. Well, too. Arnold like, never again. shows any of the muscle. Yeah, he only packs his guns once. Otherwise, he always has a fucking coat on or something weird. Yeah. But the only when he does his shake, he has his weird shake. He he has like his his guns yeah, out. I really don't understand why you would hire Arnold Schwarzenegger to play a role where he being should be a fucked strong up. Is yeah. not. I think that what was the want. script. The script said that he has to be like a downtrodden, beat up cop, yeah. like a John McClane type, but instead like a schlub. But they hired Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he does. Even in his worst days, he does. Now he still doesn't look like yeah. a schlub. Like he still is buffer than me. Like, <laughs> like if I put in the same amount of workout that Arnold Schwarzenegger is doing right now, I still look would w look worse than him. Like, it, there's no... He's still a, a, a well-trained fighting machine. Is he 70 already? No. 70, 70 nearly. Ne he's closing then. Uh, yeah, but yeah, any tits were my best moment. Uh, <laughs> that's... Is that your new but, slogan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But again, that's just a standout of these movies that it just had abnormally gorgeous breasts in it. Which was confusing also... <laughs> <laughs> for me because yes. no be because it had these i mean overt christian in 99 how old like were things, you in 99 uh i don't want to say anything wrong 18 <laughs> 18 yeah so yeah. like if you watch this in 99 when it was released don't you think like that would have been a jerk of fantasy christine's hot bod jumping mm. out of the shower or did you already have enough internet access at that point <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I don't think I would have watched this movie when I was 18. Yeah, but if if you did, like if you a friend of you invited you or something and there was an incentive to watch it because I watched some gruesome stuff back just then. Just to see breasts. No, not just to see breasts, <laughs> just to, out of peer pressure. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I watched uh Alien way too early. Oh, I I I can I have I I can't watch Alien now. Like I've seen mm -hmm. all the parts of Alien, but mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Alien. The first one. Yeah, no. No, I it's don't. it's No, I mean I've seen all the parts of the movie and I know the movie and what okay. happens and so on, but I don't have the nerve to watch the, the entire whole movie. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't think that's that's not something I would enjoy to watch a horror movie. Um it's even if uh, Sigourney Weaver is naked. Is she naked in Alien? I don't even know. Uh, close to She's not completely naked, but whatever. Yeah, I just feel like I have to say this now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I don't select my movies <laughs> according Based to the level of 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 the, the level of the, uh, 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 of tits in it. <laughs> the the quality. The amount of tits doesn't matter. No, it's just it has to have tits. That's, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a boob a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Keeps keeps the doctor away because I'm jerking off and staying healthy. But do you have lots of boobs in in movies nowadays? I don't think so because you have all of it now on HBO. So you have yeah. it on HBO now, all of it on your Game of Thrones oh, and your things. Well, and and in in the cinema they try to make it as low rating as possible so that as many people can yeah, come. Yeah, yes and no. I mean, because for example, you have those uh, superhero the, the, that, movies that, that Deadpool, even Deadpool had a bunch of tits. It in did. It. Yeah, because they had like a strip club scene in it. Oh, that makes like sense. With a lot I didn't of see naked yet. strippers, and it wasn't bad. wasn't bad no. at all. That was that was pretty dope. Secret category, I guess. <laughs> was I thought boobs was the secret category? No, the secret category is uh, a gun a day keeps most troubles away. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger uses his gun very liberally to do a lot of things what? with it. He and kills two cops like on a whim. Also, yeah, it's a very pro-gun movie. Yeah, it's, it's super pro gun. It's super. I mean, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger with a gun. It's just you know, it's like his Swiss Army knife. A gun. He uses, he uses it for all occasions. Yeah. Like if you want, he again, he he opens stores with it. He opens holes where they can jump through with it. He shoots the. Oh, he shoots weirdos, people, Satan's demons, yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and dude. <laughs> I love that he's like, oh, I shot the demon bastard like what four or five times already. Hmm. How about I just use a bigger caliber? Like that is <laughs> his only takeaway from using a gun on a demon was like, nah, it's it has to be a bigger caliber. It has to be a bigger gun. <laughs> like it's it's not it's not like maybe it has to be some religious paraphernalia like in Constantine. Or yeah, something. that's what I was thinking. Right, it is like Constantine. It's R-rated Constantine. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's Constantine. <laughs> but that's also what I thought. When are they gonna realize that they can just fucking bless the shit out of these weapons, or does that not work? It turns out that doesn't work. It's not demon I don't piss. Know, man. They could have maybe know. wrapped it in demon piss, and that would have helped. Yeah, helped. So yeah, the 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 gun is is just really an uh, integral part of this, and the final solution to the problem, the demon problem, is just to empty, empty several clip. clips into the guy. <laughs> It's just overkill. That's basically this. It is kind of it kind of troublesome that an Austrian is representing pro gun violence onto onto random people. Like it's not it's not a good look. Well, it is in demon our, in people. America. It's a great look. In America, it's a great look. But as a does Arnold kill any humans in the movie or yeah. just possessed? Well, those possessed. priests. He kills those priests. No. Yeah. Yeah. He kills those priests. He kills the Satanists at the at the rally. He right, kills his, po his police officer friend. Yeah, 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 but yeah. They were possessed. Yeah. He kills Pollock. Well, no, he didn't kill Pollock. Actually, the Pollock. demon just put him Pollock on fire. Again. Burned himself. Yeah, he took he that was upon on himself. Fire. He his, was on fire. He was on fire. His comedy was burning through him like uh, uh was it wildfire from game of thrones or something that napalm basically wildfire i think yeah. wildfire yeah yeah whatever <coughs> final conclusion not a bad movie for having like 17 percent i was on uh, rotten tomatoes 17 percent yeah it has a, like a super low rating you should have told me this earlier i mean yeah for 17 no, percent I, <laughs> I didn't want to influence you i didn't want to influence you yeah. no for 17 percent i would wow i would did not expect this i like i thought there would be some some nutty uh schwarzenegger fans or like uh christian fanatics or so who like that it's, it's uh from speaking from the craft perspective it's yeah. it's a 
It's it's a movie. I mean, so well the movie. script might not be the no, best. No, that's and, that's uh, the big. Arnold's not the I best think, actor for that the, role, but they they should have it's two two three things should have. <laughs> if you let it be what the it main, is, it's fine. The main they should have changed the main hero. They should have changed the main villain, and they should have changed the script. Everything else is great. <laughs> 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 Other, otherwise, this movie is perfect. It could have been they are Titanic, you know. Same year, right? 99? No, no. Titanic was, I'm going to say... 98? 69. <laughs> 69? Yeah. Uh, no, wait. It can't Titanic. Be. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. 69. Uh, I'm going to double down. <laughs> 69. It's so, not, it's so not true on so many levels. He wasn't even alive oh, in nine, 69. 96. 96. 96. 69. I was like, is Sorry, he trying 96. to make a really bad Kate Winslet <laughs> and him doing 69 on those plank of wood jokes? But no, like that. 69, me like one of your French girls. girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, Roland, where can people find you? Do you have a <laughs> sing account? <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Uh, no Twitter, I'm nothing. Do a couple of uh, Instagram. open mics in Vienna. Yeah, yeah. Check here. And out that's on those basically open it. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm on, a, on one of those open mics at Paul Jacobs, then Roland is also going to be there. I might be there as well. <laughs> yeah. um, otherwise, keeping a low profile. Otherwise, yeah. From those people who like Roland so much that they actually listen to the whole thing. Thank you for listening in and. Check out the other episodes. Also, also what's great. wrong with you? Yeah, also what's wrong with you? Also what's wrong with you? You have probably better things to do, like a family and like regular income to obtain. So yeah, have have a have a great one and uh, thank you for being here. Well, Ronald. thank this you for having me. It has been a blast and hope to have you back and yeah, see you the next time. Right? Sounds like a plan. All right, bye.